gentlemen, welcome to the press conference. Far away we've got another fantastic Grand Prix here. I know it's been a busy day of uh, dressage as well, and the power dressage. We're rounding off with our 500,000 euro Grand Prix. And so, uh, welcoming all of our lineup here, our top three riders from the competition. Mr. Pahad Al-Khatani, the president of the events here, the event director, Mr. Omar al the uh, president of the Grand Jury, Stefan Oberg, and of course, designer Frank Rosenberger, joining uh, our lineup here for uh, the press conference. Well, uh, Mr. Father Katani, to come to you first. Another wonderful event here in Al Shikam. We're enjoying them more and more every single year, and, it, and it's been a great week of sport, hasn't it? Yes, with the German uh, flavour, definitely. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, this is the fourth uh, version of uh, CHI. It was extraordinary, honestly, and I'm taking this opportunity to thank all the organizing committee, all the teams who worked hard day and night for almost a year now and not forgetting of course our uh, volunteers who uh, without them we wouldn't have achieved anything. Uh, my colleagues and my team here they keep pushing the standard definitely so I cannot wait until seeing the next version of it and see what they could actually uh, develop. Absolutely, well, we look forward to that as well. Oh, well, I'm an eye next to you, event so that passes over to you, I think, from that point of view. So, we're looking forward to race next year. The pressure, I, I believe that the pressure is stopped now for the next year's uh, competition. So, uh, uh, we are working on it. We have a wonderful team working with. Um, they've done their best, and I know exactly what they are doing in the day, day, uh, and the day activities, and so on. Uh, they can say that they've done a great job and I would like to thank them uh, and I would like also to thank whoever uh, supported uh, this team and pushed them to do their maximum. Well, we look forward to next year already. It's been an amazing year this year. Stefan Ellenbrook, President of our Grand Jury. I'm, you've come in from, from Germany, but I know you've spent a few, for a few of these big international shows. And you go all around the world. So we've even read it in the papers this week. You're, you're a big fan of Al yeah, absolutely. I'm here since they're doing this uh, CHI and um, they started already on an incredible high level and it's interesting to see how it is still possible to improve everything. So um, I'm also looking forward to what we do next year but this is definitely one of the most fantastic shows we have. Wonderful. And uh, the man who's had a big task this week, Frank Rosenberger. Not enviable at all with the level that you've got to, to try and sort out during the week, for want of a better expression, but it's been a big week and, and a few thoughts from you on the Grand Prix. Yes, we had, uh, <laughs> I think, two years too many, 18 uh, riders for money, and uh, unfortunately just 20, but, uh, no, 20, but, uh, yeah, when the rider was the course, they said, yeah, it's okay, it's fine. We went up the first or 32 rounds of one team, it's, uh, yeah, no, we had, uh, then we had a super jump off and, uh, and a spare who didn't train the horses last week in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite hard to emulate this week. Yeah, we have a, I have a fantastic group, super team, Romney, all the people working in the arena, good assistance from Saudi, from Qatar, from UAE, from all, all the both areas. Very good. Excellent. High level, good standard. Very good. It's been very good indeed. Well, the three man here has certainly had a good week here. Christian Armand to come to you first of all. Third here, I mean, you've been having an amazing run in the last few months. I think two Grand Prix in the last two weeks as well. This is another good result for you. 2016 is going well. Yeah, um, there's nothing to complain. Uh, uh, it's a little bit of shame that it's stopped uh, today to winning. <laughs> but uh, in any case, I'm uh, really, really happy for the exit. Uh, a very good job. I had uh, yeah, not the best position today in the jump off, so uh, I took a uh, bit too much risk and I uh, one down, but uh, it worked worked quite well for me. So the third place at the end, uh, and uh, yeah, we we are going really happy home. Uh, and a little um, mention about the, the performance of Codex One this week, yours. You, your horse this week, Codex One. Uh, just talk us through that that final jump off. Uh, he, he, did a, he, he did an amazing job uh, in, in, uh, in two rounds. He, every jump was almost uh, almost perfect. So I took a little bit too much risk in the jump off. So that was only my fault, not the horse's fault. So uh, no, 
he's uh, I'm really happy to have him going happy home. Absolutely, he's certainly looking like a very good year. Well done to you, Daniel Doyson. In uh, second spot, you're in very good company once again with, with our three up here and, and you yourself consistently up there in the top few. What's your week been like and, and just talk us through your round in that, in that jungle as well, knowing what you've got to do. Um, first of all, very proud to be in between these two. Um, with my result, I'm absolutely happy today. Um, my house jumped also two fantastic rounds. He jumped yesterday also in the big class, was also clear in the big class. Um, in the jump of today, I think I did whatever was possible for me today. He is naturally not the fastest horse. I uh, thought I set up quite a good time, but unfortunately, Lipka was behind me and just did it a bit faster. He does that. <laughs> <laughs> Two all winner here, Lipka Bilbao's second win in the Arsha Cup Grand Prix. You continue to make history. A few thoughts on today's victory. Well, first of all, I hope I don't have to apologize, but I enjoy the German flavor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, my horse is coming back from a two-month rest. He jumped the last show just before Christmas in Olympia. And to come back like this, he jumped Wednesday, the 145, uh, steady clear. And I was fifth on Thursday, the 150, one day rest. And then the way she jumped today was really, really, really nice, really good. And I had, other than Christian, uh, a really good draw on the jump off. I, I went last. It definitely is an advantage. Uh, I could see my enemies. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, but I, I'm really pleased because in the two months when she had the rest, other than these two, especially Christian, I had won nothing. So uh, to come back and sit here today as a winner is uh, actually a nice feeling. Well, you've come a long way from zero coming in there. And a little thought of me, there's been much talk, of course, this week on Olympic qualification. I mean, you're sitting here with, we've got one empty seat. We could almost put the German Olympic team up here from that point of view. <laughs> Your thoughts looking ahead to the rest of this year, I mean, it's a big year for all of you. Yes, but we should not uh, cut the meat into pieces before it's even shot, you know. So I think it's still a bit of time until Rio, and uh, there's some other good uh, couples and boys and girls at home, so I think it's a little bit too early to, to talk about this. But of course, uh, I think we are in the first five, six, seven, eight to be to have a chance to get there, but uh, it's still six months to go. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to all of those that have come to you. Any questions from our press on the floor here? Any questions for our group up here? Okay. Lutger, congratulations. You. If you should get an invitation to go to the games, if you do end up on the German team, would, would this mare be the one that you would take? Yes, for sure she is uh, number one, and I did a couple of championships with her already. And I know her well, she's my number one horse, my number two horse is the new one, Casello. Uh, we still have to get uh, going a little bit, I only have him since seven weeks now. Uh, but these two, they will be uh, doing the, the trials, the shows until then, but the show Kiara is number one. Yet. And was she off because of an injury or just no, to take no, no, time no. off? Or? She was off after a long season actually, with the World Equestrian Games and then a couple of indoors. She finished second in Olympia, uh, and I felt she had to have a rest a little bit, you know, she was not jumping in the same shape that she did here after two months uh, rest. She was in full work all the time, and I started uh, not just working, I worked her all the time. Uh, I started jumping with her two weeks ago, just jumped a few uh, small rounds at home, actually also outdoors because uh, only since two weeks we were able to ride outdoors in Germany because of the winter, but uh, yeah, she felt really fresh and uh, I will not ride her now uh, indoors anymore. I keep another two, three weeks and then I start outdoors, so continue outdoors. Thank you. Well, great. Uh, look, uh, how are you going to spend the prize money? <laughs> First of all, uh, it's not just mine, it's also uh, <laughs> I have to share it with my owner, which I, I'm really happy to do. 
And second, uh, I just mentioned before that in the last two months I have won nothing. So in the last two months, <laughs> the costs were extremely much higher than the income. So it's nice to have the income too. <laughs> The bills have been piling up. Yeah, I think we should give special mention later to Dan here, Maddie Winter Schultz, the owner of Kiara, one of the great owners of the sport. I think we give her a round of applause as well. She's one of the great patrons of the sport across the board. And a huge thanks to you as well for everything you've done. Any further questions from the floor? industry behind growing up in all areas, breeding, dressage, eventing, show jumping, actually the roots are where we come from. So in terms of quantity and also finally with this long history quality, I think for us it's a, it's a very luxury situation to, to grow up in a country like this, in an environment like this, in an industry like this. So I think if once here in the Arab countries, they have this tradition, uh, it would be the same. It's so just a question of time when other. Well. Great, thank you very much. And the question we got back to My question for Rutger uh, compared to 2014 and your previous appearances in Qatar, uh, did you notice any changes in organization? In, Event itself, yes, for sure. I was asked that actually question before on the TV, and uh, I've seen on, on two sides changes. One side on my performance with my mare, everything was much smoother and easier. And two years ago, everything was a bit more aggressive and more fighting, so that I'm actually really pleased with. But then also, I have to say, in the whole uh, infrastructure, the atmosphere, uh, the, the starting field, it's a, it's a different uh, environment, I would say. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's growing actually really fast. I mean, we talk in other areas about the decades of tradition and showing, and here they, in four or five years, they improve year by year, and it's really nice to see that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Any further questions? Okay. I think actually we've talked about the Olympics, but actually just one final three from Fahad Al-Qahtani to mention here that, of course, Qatar qualified this year and, and the thoughts on the side of looking forward to seeing the Qatari team as part of Rio. Yes, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, and let's talk about this event. There are some other hidden objectives, let's say. Uh, it's not only limited to the sport itself. It's great to have the top athletes coming from all over the world competing here in the show. This is, we achieved, and I'm very happy that to went to this uh, uh, result. However, the industry of equine, the equine industry itself, is part of our heritage, and we have a passion about it. Maybe not necessarily only the show jumping elements, but we always look at horses differently. They were always part of our life. It was, uh, they were always part of our ancestors' life. I think now it's the time that we showcase our passion, Definitely, I will try to take care of them. Now, uh, yes, our team is going to Rio, so I'm very happy to, uh, about that. I'm all glad and pleased. I think with this competition, it gives them the ability actually to compete with the top riders of the world. Uh, gives even our younger uh, athletes the opportunity to be part of this uh, event, whether from organize, organizing perspectives or actually competing. So it's an opportunity for them. Right, it's been a wonderful week all right. I think that takes us nicely to a close. So ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of those involved and thank you to all of you. Congratulations to my top three this year.